We've got exclusive on-set access. To be honest, I thought I wasn't going to get the job. Your trouble is, Fred. We reveal the efforts writers, directors, actors and technicians go to to make television drama look real and believable. We blow the whistle on ITV's new series, The Whistleblowers. For me, I liked um, Ben uh, being... He's quite... Um, Bullshit. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to just swallow everything I'm told by the establishment. It's quite uh, headstrong, I like that. I can't admit defeat. Can you? For actress Indira Varma, playing Alicia was a challenge. Firstly, couples are quite unusual in television drama. And secondly, there were aspects of Alicia's character that Indira didn't particularly like. I felt that Alicia was a bit of a nag to begin with. Ben! Who cares what's going on outside the window? Initially, in episode one, I think Alicia is this very, very successful lawyer, actually more successful than Ben. And so she's reluctant to be dragged into this, you know. You reported it, Ben. If it hasn't come to anything, there's obviously a very good reason. What I liked about it as well was the fact that it was, you know, a thriller, but um, with, with, you know, a partnership, but they were in a relationship. You know, a role of... Uh... Doglu, Mustafa Doglu, who's uh, an evil Turkish man. <sighs> I'll get you. He's involved in uh, t basically smuggling of uh, immigrants from well, Turkey to this country and um, people trafficking, basically. I don't like people who look lost. I like to go up there and punch them, you know? And normally, I'm the one that does all the killing. Um, in, in, in this instance, I get shot in the chest and I get a bullet through the brain <laughs> my brain splattered across the windows so that was quite interesting because I haven't died for about a, nearly four years now so it was nice to die again I had to kind of rethink as to how to die I mean a lot of times actors use what they call sense memory because of the fact that you've experienced that emotion you know the process on how to conjure up that emotion again but obviously something like dying or getting shot is something that I've never experienced as you can see I'm still alive so it's something that you need to kind of fabricate almost you know the process I use is I basically think of an experience where I've been really really frightened and then get that emotion in and then build and build and build and then it kind of gets to a point where you think right that's it and you, you get there Despite all Mem's hard work, in the final scene, his death lasts just a precious few seconds. There's no reason to assume Dobby's the only vicious killer she knows. 